Good morning, ESM. I'm Owen. I'm Jaden. So as you know, last episode, we ran out of money for our budget, so we're here getting free interviews at Destiny USA. More on that after news and announcements. Yesterday, former reality TV star Josh Duggar was convicted of downloading and possessing child sex abuse images on his work computer. A federal jury in Arkansas found him guilty on one count each of receiving and possessing child pornography. Duggar faces up to 20 years in prison and fines of up to $250,000 for each count when he's sentenced. His legal team in statement to NBC News has said they respect the verdict but intend to appeal. This Friday, December 10th from 9 to 10.30, Destiny USA hosts the Clear Paths Veteran Friendly Wellness Walk. Clear Paths for Veterans is a Chittenango organization designed around providing support to veterans. The event is free and attendees must meet Miss Lynn Fox in front of the carousel at 9 a.m. The Maxwell trial has recently been delayed after a lawmaker fell ill. On Thursday, the trial was put on temporary hold after a federal judge reported the lawmaker sick, or the lawyer sick. Judge Allison J. Nathan said the lawyer was necessary for the examination of the last four witnesses. Judge Nathan said there is no reason to think the lawyer's illness is COVID and the trial will break to make sure the lawyer receives care. The trial is expected to continue on Friday. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you have plans at 8 tonight? Come on out to our first talent show since 2018. Masters of Ceremony Todd Durantini and Parker Farrell will guide you through a musical evening of song, dance, piano, and comedy acts. Tickets are $8 at the door and all proceeds benefit the class of 2023. Next week, the 13th through the 17th, the Key Club is selling candy canes to be delivered around the school the days before holiday break. Candy canes will be sold before school and during lunch periods. They are $1 each or $2 for $1.50. Buyers must know part of the recipient's schedule so that Key Club can drop them off. Make sure to get your candy canes next week to help support the Key Club. Are you struggling with your math help? Math homework help is available in the library makerspace areas the following days and blocks. On odd days, we are there blocks 1 and 4, and on even days, blocks 1 and 3. Come down if you have study hall, and make sure you sign into study hall first, and then your study hall teacher can give you a green math homework help pass. We are here to help. Your interviews are we going to be conducting today? So we're going to be asking people about what they love about Christmas time. Oh, look at this oh, guy. Oh, don't we have our first subject? What jingles your bells? Um, I think the food and the family. Food and the family. You heard it. I stepped on I stepped on my shoelace and I untied my shoe. Oh, I got to tie my shoe. This is some live action here. He's currently tying his shoe. He's going for the loop. Oh my God! And he unties it. Oh, he's undoing the loop. Oh, okay, okay. All right, bunny ears, bunny ears. Oh, he's going around. Oh, my God. And look, he's going for the double knot. Here he goes. Folks, you have it here. Oh, my God. Tommy, you want to try it? I don't know, man. Is Merry Christmas. Fit? Merry Christmas. <laughs> what puts you in the Christmas spirit? Good answer. Me too. Me too. What makes you happy about Christmas? I'm not from this culture, so, <laughs> but, you know, when the Christmas season comes, it's generally weather is snowy. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I agree. I think the van store is looking like the play. That's going well. Can I ask you a question? What, what, what makes you happy about Christmas? Not much. Thank you. <laughs> you want to go in the Apple store? Make sure you aim it at him when they give their answer. I just said it. Sir, can I ask you a few questions? What's going on, man? So, what makes you happiest about Christmas? What's that? What makes you happiest about Are you recording? About yeah. What makes you happiest about Christmas? 
About Christmas? Yeah. Oh, man. Spread cheer, man. The holiday cheer. Yeah. I, uh, especially family and friends. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. All right. And now, Jane. Today we'll warm up to a high of 45 with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow we'll have a warmer high of 62 with expected rain showers. Sunday is going to go back down into the 40s and will be mostly cloudy. The rest of the week will stay in the 40s with some sunshine. I'm Gabby with your weather. Can I ask you a question, my friend? What's up? What, uh, what makes you happy about the Christmas spirit? Oh, God. Uh, being home with family. Nice. Yeah, I guess that's an easy one. Thank way. you. Yeah, of course. My man, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, what, what, how do you feel about Christmas? I'm Muslim. I don't celebrate Christmas. Oh, what do you do instead? Sit at home. I mean, we don't really have a winter holiday so much. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> can I ask you a question, my friend? Mm. What puts you in the Christmas spirit? Awesome. Um, All right. Hey, we're going into Zoomies. Or, yeah, this is Zoomies. Can I ask you a question, my friend? Go ahead, shoot. Uh, what, what puts you in the Christmas spirit? What puts me in the Christmas spirit? Yeah. Giving, friend, giving, um, giving people that I care about uh, gifts that they deserve. Nice. I think, I think that's a good way to put it. I generally find my happiness by making sure other people are happy. Nice. Thank you very much. The ESM boys bowling team won a hard fought battle yesterday versus FM. Ryan Buffum led the way with the 264 game in a 662 series. Charles Houston chipped in with a 187. The girls team lost to FM in a close match. Olivia Nissen had a 149. Emily Blaken chipped in with a 139 as well. The girls volleyball team beat VVS 32. Louis Tellerico led the team in nine ki kills. Emily Renane led the team in assists with 15. And Morgan Ransom led the team with 14 digs. In the weight room news, two athletes were chosen as lifters of the month before no November. Congratulations to Tyler Saunders and An Andrew LaMarche. They were chosen based on, upon a standing attendance and effort. Ex-Broncos star wa wide receiver and Super Bowl champion Demarius Thomas ha has died at the age of 33. The cause of Thomas's death wasn't immediately known. Thomas was found dead inside his Georgia home last night. The Minnesota, Minnesota Vikings took home the win against Pittsburgh Steelers with a score of 36 to 28. In upcoming news, the girls basketball team had a game t has a game today at Henniker at 6:30. The boys and girls track team has a meet in Utica, Utica at 4, and the wrestling team has a match at Dexter Elm Gym at 9 tomorrow. Boys basketball plays at FM at 12 tomorrow, and I'm working with your sports. Bye. Three black.